Hello folks, I'd just like to show you a little run through my latest addition to my Hammond organ collection. This is a Model E concert model, 1938, uh, recently purchased. Um, the generators were turning but uh, that was about all because we didn't have any voltage to drive it because um, they originally had uh, the voltage come from their speaker cabinets from way way back uh, but this was bought just on its own so a very good friend of mine from Electro Music at Ipswich um, has rebuilt the power supply unit and transformers and also uh, fitted new capacitors in the preamp etc and uh, it made a fine job of it so we're all up and running now and uh, I'll just quickly float across here and uh, as you can see uh, we didn't even have to change any of the bulbs for the pedal indicators so if I press the pedals down here you can't see that very well but uh, when I change them one there there we are that's changing that's the next one next one next one so they're all you can probably hear the different tones that's all the, all the pedals And um, so they're, they're all working fine. There's also a bulb underneath the manual. That's all working as well to light up the pedal board. And then we've got here, we've got the various presets, which on the later models are actually um, black keys, as on the um, C3s, B3s, and all of them sort of consoles. And uh, these, these are all up and running, working. I press that. Press that and all. So there, they're all working. Upper and lower manual, and um, and the draw bars, all draw bars working fine. super and then we come up this way uh, we've got the chorus generator in this model so uh, I'll pull that out there pull that out and you'll get a nice shimmer come out So um, on the pedals here we've got great, as I'm pressing that up and down here, you can see the uh, indicators, pedal indicators go in and out, there, that's great, and then next to it I'm pressing the swell, that's, that's all working fine, yes, yeah, so they're all up and running, and of course there's the start switches, start and run. So uh, that's all up and good, and uh, we've actually got this connected up to a Leslie 145. But the thing what takes a bit of getting used to on here, I've been used to A100s and uh, them sort of consoles, but we've actually got um, an extra large church organ pedal board down here. Uh, it's not lit up very well, but I'm sure if I bring a bit of light in the subject here you'll get an idea of what's going on down here. There we are. There's the pedal board and there's the um, selector switches presets for the pedals as well. And uh, I've also replaced uh, the rubbers 
open the pedals. It's all been cleaned out inside. So it's a nice model. A little bit of brass though on the brass all round everywhere. And I shall be putting um, one or two little tunes, uploading them a little bit later on. And I do believe there is also one of these in the Science Museum in London. And um, here we are, look. Just here, I downloaded this. A little different colour model though. So that's the Model E. This actual model on the name plates at the back, on the Hammond plate, it's actually called a KE. But it was come through Boozy and Hawks, and they've got just as a Model E. So um, we've got to find out exactly what that was all about. But the exact specifications as the Model E. So there you go. Anyway, so that's that's a quick little tour around this machinery. Bye for now.